everyone welcome back if you're coming back if this is your first time thanks for joining today is tuesday february 11th 2014 and this is our february video um in my last video i mentioned that i'll be making videos once a month instead of once a week because i have nothing to talk about so i'm making this video right now just to check in with you um let you know what's going on and um, just share a few things that have been going on. I really don't have a set <coughs> a set plan for today, um, but I'll let you know that I have been seeing some progress, which is really exciting, um, and the people at the gym have been seeing progress, so I just want to brag to you actually a little bit about my progress. And a few things that keep me motivated as I'm working out. I'm nowhere near my goal <laughs> at all. But it's just motivating when you see changes. Um, so I'm just going to tell you about a few of my favorite changes that I'm seeing. And I also want to tell you about these pants. These are um, Ralph Lauren yoga pants. And they're probably the best gym pants I've ever gotten. Um, I should make a video on like plus size active wear because Ralph Lauren and Calvin Klein make the best active wear that I've ever worn for someone with um, larger legs and thighs because they tend to roll down when I buy the other ones like Adidas especially tends to roll down um, but the dry fit and this is dry fit and Calvin Klein and Ralph Lauren, their dry fit and all their active wear, especially bottoms. Tops I have no problem, but bottoms, they don't roll down, you know, they don't like hang in the middle. They're really, really good. So I just had to throw that in there because I bought these on Amazon um, a few weeks ago. And I was very impressed, especially because I didn't try them on before buying them. And when you have bigger thighs and legs... It's usually good to try things on, but I don't have time to go to the store, so I bought them anyway, and they fit perfectly. So anyway, <laughs> a few changes that I'm noticing, that I'm liking. Um, one would not be my hair. Obviously, I didn't get my hair done. Sorry, guys. That's not a change I'm enjoying. But <laughs> um, one would be, I know some people don't like it, but I like veins. And you probably can't, I don't know why you can't really see them, I guess. I'm relaxed now but I like when I'm working out and I can see the veins on my hands and down my arms it gets me really really excited and happy that's a huge change for me and people hate it like people get injections so their veins go away I like my veins on my arms and my feet it's kind of weird um, another thing I like is my chest I feel like it's grown a lot stronger. If you look at my first video, um, you'll be able to see what my chest looked like there. But I kind of just want to show you. So even when I'm not flexing or doing anything, I just I feel like it just clears your skin. You know, and I just like how it looks these days. And so then even when I do flex, I like my shoulders. And you can't see the back, but it's getting a little bit toned, which is exciting. I like this little thing too. But I'm liking my shoulders and my arms. Um, you can see a little bit of a bicep. I don't really think that it's, you know, a big bicep yet. And I still have some, some flabs a little long here. But it's okay. And, you know, right now I'm not flexing. And I feel like you can see a little bit of definition. And then when I do flex, you get to see and there is a little, you know, a little flab. But you can see that it's working out better. And then if I do both at the same time, you kind of see the, the chest. And I don't feel like getting up to show you my back, so I'm just not, <laughs> just not going to show you my back. But that's another little change that I'm enjoying um, seeing, particularly upper body. My stomach is still a little chubs. Um, if you go on my bodybuilding.com backslash jchwankum, um, you can see a picture of my abs 
when I suck in my stomach. When I don't, it's like, I can talk to you. It's really bad um, for me. But if I'm like standing, so you can't tell, right? If I'm sucking it in and walking like this. But this is how it looks when it's out. So a long way to go on my stomach and this is me pushing it out but even if I wasn't pushing it out it's still like this so I still have a long way to go on my stomach clearly if you can't tell um, but my arms make me happy my legs I still have a long way to go but I'm feeling them get stronger um, even though they're still as big but at least I feel them getting stronger so I feel like the more cardio I do, um, the more they're going to shrink. But then also, oh, I had a funny story for you. I mean, it's not really funny, but I weighed myself the other day, and I've gained three pounds again. At this point, though, I've been following my diet, so I really think it is three pounds of muscle. I'm hoping it's three pounds of muscle because my weight is just fluctuating I weigh myself once a month, and these last couple months, it's been going down three, up three. It's getting a little crazy. So, um, I just had to share that with you, and I'm trying not to be preoccupied with the scale because um, it's just a number. It doesn't know my percentage body fat. It doesn't know how much muscle mass I'm gaining and things like that, and I feel like clearly I see a difference in what I look like, and people see differences as well. So the scale can't tell me I'm just gaining fat, you know? Um, I think that's all I have for you today, quite honestly. There wasn't a lot. I would love to hear about what's going on with you. Um, I have my page on bodybuilder.com where I do some written articles as well. If you want to follow me and find out what's going on and how my day is I try to update it every single day so even if I don't have a full-on blog post I'll have like a status update on bodybuilder.com so feel free to add me on bodybuilder follow me tweet me Facebook me um, and YouTube me whatever you want to do all right bye